This is Lewis Art for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store, Forge Direct Stout, FreeBets.com. Delighted to be joined with Jordan Gill here at the Ben Davidson Performance Centre in Harlow in Essex. Um, just finished off, I suppose, a hard training session. It's about three weeks away um, till the big fight with Zelfa Barrett. Um, how, I suppose, how are things uh, firing on all cylinders for April 13th? Yeah, I'm feeling good, uh, getting into a flow and enjoying what I'm doing and I think that's the main thing, turning up to the gym every day, doing what I'm asked to do, or at least trying, and uh, yeah, just pushing forward, just counting down the days now. How important is that for you now that I suppose you are enjoying what you're doing, you are enjoying coming to the gym today and coming to the gym every day and I suppose making camp, I suppose a happy, a happy place for yourself? I think for me it's been vital, um, it's been such a big change, you know, getting up in the morning not dreading going to work, you know, 90% of people get up in the morning and don't like what they do and um, I, I was at a point where you know, I wasn't enjoying boxing, I, you know, I was, I was away from home and you know, things were stressful and, and now all that stress is gone, I'm, I'm just enjoying myself, I'm enjoying the training, I'm enjoying being in the gym, um, learning and uh, for me it's vital to, to push on and continue because I think when you enjoy something then you're more likely to get better at it. Does it make you feel grateful in a way when you, when you look back now and you look, look, to na look to the position that you're in now? Massively grateful, yeah. I'm very lucky to be here where I am. I'm very lucky to, to be on the run that I'm on and to have the opportunity that I've got. So uh, I'm not going to waste it. I feel like I might have asked you this before, but is it showing away how much one fight can change everything? Because you look at pre, pre the Mick Conlon fight to the post Mick Conlon fight, the whole narrative around yourself and, and, and especially the trajectory of your career has all changed. Does it show, I suppose, taking a gamble, taking a risk that it's worked in your favour now and how much, it, how much it can change? Yeah, definitely. I think you know you're only ever one win away, only ever one big win away from you know changing your life, and that's what I did. Um, I had to take that fight. I wanted that fight, um, but when it was offered, you know I didn't I didn't hesitate. You know I thought you have to take them risks, and no risk, no reward. And you know I took the risk, it paid off, and and now we're in a good position. Do you feel like you've noticed the, the change in yourself, or is it more more the outside stuff where the change has been? Uh, no, yeah, I've, I've, na I've noticed, you know, in and out of the ring, um, just everything's on track, everything's where it should be, and uh, I'm just, I'm just enjoying it and, and soaking it all in, and you know, making sure that I'm, I'm enjoying the process and uh, feeling grateful for, for where I am. Well, I suppose we'll, we'll go on to your fight now. Obviously, fighting Zelfa Barrett in Manchester Arena, um, away territory, you know, no different from yourself. But looking forward to, to I suppose, all, all the feelings that go into it for that fight. Yeah, yeah, I'm just buzzing, uh, buzzing to get in there now and. It's going to be a great fight. It's going to be uh, a good atmosphere. Um, you know, I've, I've shown before that I'm not scared of going to someone's backyard and, and um, fighting. So, you know, it's just another another case. Uh, you know, I went to Belfast to uh, box Mick Conlon. Got to go to Manchester to box uh, Barrett. Um, is what it is. It'll be good. What do you make of, of Barrett at this point in his career? He's obviously fought at the world level before um, against um, Rakimov, uh, came up short, put a good account of himself in that, but um, expecting the, the fully best uh, Zelfa Barrett in there on uh, April 13th? Yeah, definitely. I think um, he'll be firing on all cylinders. I think he'll be sharp. Um, he'll have done a lot of homework, a lot of studying. I think um, I think it's going to make for a really exciting fight. I think uh, it's going to be you know 12 rounds uh, back and forth and, and just you never know until you get in there um, the level of someone how good someone is but you know everything I've ever seen of Zelfa I've always been a big fan I've always known you know thought, thought he's a very good fighter so um, I never thought that we'd be sharing the ring together but we are now so you know let's make it a good one is there also something exciting where both of you, both of you are so are on similar trajectories in a way, and you know that the state, you know what the stakes are if if you do win this fight bet between the two of you? Yeah, definitely. I think um, you know you only ever won like that that win away from from winning the world title. And we're both from getting a world title shot. Sorry, um, I think we both know that get this fight won, whoever wins will will get probably a chance to, to fight for the world title and that's what we both want you know he's had his chance he can't be short but you know he's learnt from it he'll be better um, and there's every chance he'd win it in the future but 
you know, whoever wins this fight is going to get the shot. So there's so much on the line, and like whoever whoever gets beat is going to go back to the bottom of the queue. So he's going to want to beat me, send me down the pecking order, and um, likewise. Is there also something important to, to notice that the, you're not looking past Barrett for the for the for the safety? If a world title could be next, that shows the importance of the fight. That we know it's more the, the more importance of what could be next after this, and you don't want to miss the shot of the world title, I suppose, again. Yeah, definitely. You can't ever look past anyone. Um, Barrett's a, a solid fighter. Um, he'll be favourite in the fight, I'm sure. Um, but so was Mick last time. You know, it's, it's going to be a great fight. And, you know, all I can say is may the best man win, but we both know what's on the line. That's why it's going to be so exciting because we're both going to give every ounce of, of our soul to, to win the fight. And um, it's, it's going to be exciting. I know you've sp spoken previously highly of, of, of this gym and, and being here in the setup at the Ben Davidson Performance Centre with Lee Wiley, Barry and everyone else that goes into it. Um, how much have you felt like that whole benefit of so the video analysis, everything that goes into it that's I suppose, made you level up in a sense? It's been vital, it's, um, this gym, for me, the, the way that I step back and just look and watch and um, try and soak it in and try and understand it, it's just taking my level of understanding to, to a, a new high and the way that they operate is completely different to anything I've ever seen before and you know I really respect it and, and for me to incorporate into my training, into my game plan, into my um, approach to a fight is yeah is, is working and it, it there's so little simple things but they're so effective when it's broken down you know that they're very simple things they're asking you to do but they're hard to do so if you master them it makes such a big difference in a fight and you know I only had a couple of months training here before the the Congo fight and you know you, you saw a different Jordan Gill in the ring um, you know now I've got straight back in the gym and, and been working and, and trying to develop even more and and you're going to see another version of me um, against Alpha Barrett. Do you feel like video analysis is like the future and we see Ben almost being a pioneer in a way but you see more and more coaches following suit as a result of that? Yeah I think so um, it's one thing doing the video analysis but it's another thing being able to know what you're looking at and, and understand what reactions people have to certain things and you know Lee Wiley and, and Ben they, they've got a very special eye for it um, and you know some people just come along you know and when they're once in a lifetime they can just do something and they've got a certain way of thinking to understand something for me Lee Wiley is a very special person in, in that sense considering you know he's, he's not boxed before in his life but he can look at a video and he can break that and he's, he's gifted um, so yeah I think they are pioneering it but at the same time you can you can tell people to go and watch videos but they have to know what they're looking at um, so yeah I think these these are head and shoulders above um, everyone else and and you're seeing it in the performances you're seeing it in the um, in the results that they're getting from the gym absolutely just a final one from me Jordan what can we expect on uh, April 13th war top man mate thank you as always for taking time to speak to me always appreciate it. and yeah all the best for April 13th mate cheers